Um, please do your makeup with tiny hands. I can't even take myself seriously with these, but let's do it. First, we're starting off with foundation. Oh my god, I don't even know how to get the product out. Foundation is literally everywhere. This is way more difficult than a- Okay, I think I got it. The amount of times I dropped a beauty blender is unacceptable. Concealers next. Oh my god, I'm gonna poke my eye out. Why did I think this was gonna be easy? I think I'm getting a hint of it. Or not. Oh my god. My hands are hurting, but bronzer is next. Maybe it'll be easier if I use a brush. Wow, look at me go. I cannot be bothered to blend this more. We have blush next. Ah, oh, my hands are starting to hurt. Honestly, not too bad. Powder is next and I'm a genius. Somehow this is still very difficult. I'm over this. Let's try and add a little- oh god, more blush. Do you know what? I definitely have way more blush on this side than on this one, but I'll see you in part two for the rest. Welcome to part two of me doing my makeup using tiny hands. So far, it is not going good. I don't even know how I'm about to do my brows with this. I dropped my brow pencil. Okay, we're back. Oh, I hate this. Let's try this again. You know what? I can't even be bothered with this right now. This brow is staying like that. I hope for eyeshadow your expectations are low. Actually, I fully take that back. I hope your expectations are non-existent. Now, mascara is where it's getting a little sus, because I like my eyes, and I'd like to keep them. I am literally terrified. Whoa. Oh my god, look at this professionalism. Are you kidding? Okay, what is that? We're gonna try and line my lips. Wow. Honestly, that's some of my best work. Just kidding, it's absolutely fucking horrible. The last step is lipstick and I can't even pick this thing up. I got it. I kinda. This is as much as I was able to get before it dropped all over my freaking carpet. But here is the final look and I could not be happier that it's finally done because I will never be doing this again and these hands are freaking stupid. Sorry, that was a little aggressive. The brand name should start in alphabetical order, example primer A, foundation B, etc. This took quite some time to pull together, but I think we're finally ready. And I hope I did it correctly. I'm gonna use this one from Anna Sui. This primer has such an interesting texture. Foundation is B, so we're gonna be using Beauty Blender. I'm gonna mix both in like two different shades because neither of them match, so I'm hoping if I mix them, they will match. Okay, it kind of worked. Concealer is C, so we're going to be using Charlotte Tilbury. For contour, it's D, and the only thing I found was this Dior powder one, so we're going to skip that until we put setting powder on. For cream blush is E, and that's M Cosmetics. And this is such a pretty blush from them. Powder is F, so we're going to be using Fenty Beauty. Now we could use the powder bronzer. Brows landed on letter G, and I don't have a brow product that starts with a G. So unfortunately, we're going to be skipping those. Moving on to eyeshadow, which is H. We're going to be using Half Magic. I'm going to use the eyeshadow and then their like, liquid shadow slash liners. I decided to still like line my brows so it looks like it's done, but it actually isn't. And I will see you in part two for the rest. Part two of me doing a makeup look where the brand's name start in alphabetical order. We're on eyeshadow, which is H. First, I'm going to use this like transition shade from Half Magic and place this all over my crease. I'm going to use this fun like pink uh, cream shadow and look at how stunning it looks and I'm going to create a liner with it. 
Okay, it is so simple, but yet it's kind of cute. Uh, for mascara, we're gonna go in with It Cosmetics because the letter for mascara is I. Next on the list is blush, like powder blush. I wanted to add some, but it starts with a J and I don't have a blush that starts with a J. Highlighter is K and we're gonna use this beautiful one from Kaleidos. I mean, wow. Lip liner is L, so we're gonna use this uh, like all over stick from Lip Tinted. Lipstick is M and I can't find a lipstick that's such with an M, but I do have this Milk Makeup Blush and we're gonna use this as a lipstick. It actually says on here that you could use this as a lipstick. And for the lip gloss, we're gonna go in with uh, NYX Cosmetics. I have not th used this gloss in so long. Well, here's the final look of using makeup brands in alphabetical order and I think it turned out um, actually really good. Can you do a full face of makeup when the letters in the product must be the same amount of the letters in the brand? I honestly did not think this was possible and it took quite some time to find, but we have every single product. First, starting off with primer that has six letters and we're going in with Elta MD Tinted Sunscreen. Because as you could see, Elta MD has six letters. This is also a tinted sunscreen, which is why you could wear it on your own and it looks absolutely stunning. Foundation has 10 letters in it and Huda Beauty has 10 letters. And we're going to be using the Glowish Multi-Dew Skin Tint. If you like glowy foundation, this is the one for you. Concealer was a little bit hard. It has 9 letters. I found this Dominique Cosmetics, but it only has Dominique on the packaging, so that's all we counted. Okay, this combination looks absolutely stunning. Now next we have Contour, which has 7 letters, and we're going to be using She Glam. I counted everything at least like 10 times, so if uh, I miscounted something, I'm gonna be a little bit mad. Blush is five, so we're using Kylie. Powder was a little bit harder. It's six letters. The only one I found is Jaclyn Cosmetics, but it only says Jaclyn on the front, so we're gonna go with that. And I have actually never used this powder before, but I've heard a lot of good reviews. Okay, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more of powder blush, and we're gonna use this one from Moira. All right, we're halfway down the list, and so far it's looking like one of the best makeup looks I've ever done. So I'll see you for the rest. Part two of me doing a makeup look where the number of letters in the makeup step equals the number of uh, letters in the makeup brand. I just confused myself with that. Anyway, highlighter has 11 letters, and M Cosmetics has 11 letters in the name. This is like a sparkly blush, but we're going to use this as a highlighter. Look at that subtle, beautiful glow. Brows are five, so we're going to use Kylie again. Now, eyeshadow has nine letters, so we're going to be using ColourPop, and look how fun this palette is. Mascara is seven letters, so we're going to use one size. Do you know what? I have not used this mascara in so long. Actually, I don't think I ever used it. Now, lip liner has eight letters, so we're going to use this Glam Light X Frosted Flakes. Lipstick has also eight letters, so we're going to use this Kaleidos Cloud Lip Lip Clay. Lip gloss has also eight letters, so we're going to use this one from Florence in shade Mysterious Mills. And here is the final look. You guys come up with some of the weirdest challenges ever, but I love it. Those are mochis, not squishies. When I did my video using squishies blending out my makeup, you have all told me that those weren't squishies, those were freaking mochis. Apparently this is what a squishy is. And it is honestly so, so freaking satisfying. So now, let's blend out my makeup using squishies. The real ones. I'm thinking for my foundation we're gonna use this ice cream because it honestly looks like a beauty blender already. Honestly, this is working way better than mochis. I think I'm convinced that this is the same thing as a beauty blender. Now the tip of the cone is going to be perfect to blend out my concealer as well. It definitely takes a bit of time, but uh, we can get it there. Now moving on to contour, and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. And I'm going to use this macaroon to blend this out. Listen to this noise. It's kind of like just moving the product around instead of blending it out, to be honest. Now for my blush, we're gonna go in with uh, Rare Beauty in shade Bliss. Look at how easy that was to blend out. Also, where did the blush go? I think I went overboard now. Okay, I think I saved it. 
Now to set my face, we're gonna use Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics um, Powder. And I'm gonna use the same macaroon to set my face. This um, feels wrong. But for some odd reason, it's working. So far, we have a pretty good start, but how will these react with powder? I don't know. Part two of me doing a makeup look with only squishies. I mean, look at how satisfying these are. We're moving on to powder. I'm going to add a little bit more blush, and I'm just thinking I'm going to use this macaroon. Uh, kind of like as a brush. This feels wrong, but it's actually working so well. I'm also going to add a little bit of highlighter. Or, I guess, a lot of it. For my brows, I'm just going to use my regular brow pencil. Now, lining my eyebrow is going to be very difficult. This is kind of the best I can do, and um, I've seen worse. Now, I'm going to prime my eyes with my uh, Rare Beauty Eye Primer. I don't know how I'm about to do eyeshadow, but I just put it on the tip of this like um, ice cream cone, and let's see what happens. I mean, honestly, it's not the best, but it's there. I tried putting the eyeshadow on my lower lash line, and I feel like I, know, I kind of fucked up. I'm gonna use this, like, Moira um, Star Show Shadows, and uh, let's see if we could make this look pretty. Okay, holy shit. Lipstick, we're gonna go in with this one from uh, Ram Beauty. I actually like applying it with this thing more than just with the applicator. Uh, I honestly like these so much that I might just keep them and use them as beauty blenders. Especially this little guy, are you kidding me? Do a full face of Make Beauty. I've honestly never tried anything from Make Beauty and I've never heard of the brand until a couple of months ago. We have every single product here to do a full face of makeup. So in a way, this is also going to be a first impression. First, starting off with this Diffusion Dew Radiant Skin Tint. I also don't think I've heard anyone talk about this brand, so I have no idea what to expect. This skin tint is uh, very, very light coverage, which I do like a lot. For the concealer, we have this Skin Mimatic Concealer. It feels super lightweight, almost like a serum concealer of some sort. The concealer has barely any coverage. Let me see if I could build it up. Next, we're going to use this cream blush, but it, because it's kind of like a darkish color for my skin tone, I want to see if I could use this as a bronzer. Okay, this looks stunning. Now for my blush, we have this crazy color. It is like borderline red. But once it's blended out, are you seeing how pretty this is? Why am I like obsessed with this right now? Now we're going to set my face using this Diffusion Set Translucent Pressed Powder. And I'm also using one of the brushes, which feels super luxurious and heavy. For the bronzer, we're going to use this Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Bronzer. That was a mouthful. This bronzer is like so natural and so pretty. We still have so many products to test out, so I will see you in part of the rest. Welcome to part two of me doing a full face using only Make Beauty. We're moving on to the blushes, and I am so excited about these. Look at how stunning these freaking look. First, we're gonna go in with this one in shade Crimson Sky, and it literally matches my shirt perfectly. Uh, they are very pigmented. Literally, what the fuck have I done? I'm gonna use the shade Cosmic and try to save this. I think I only made it worse. Do you know what? We're just gonna have to be extra blushed up today. Now for my brows, we have this Blade Line uh, Brow Pencil. I'm not usually a fan of like the thick brow pencils. I don't know if this color is perfect for me or it's a little bit too dark. Shadow, um, the only thing I have is this waterproof gel liner. Um, here's what it looks like. I also have another color, but I'm not a fan of it. So we're gonna create like a blown out wing with it or something. Honestly, that's pretty good. This blush though is still a bit too much. Now for the mascara, we have uh, this Lash Prototype Mascara. Uh, this is one coat. This mascara is literally insane. This uh, might be my new obsession. So we have this Serum Balm in shade Magnetic Mauve. That's an interesting color. Oh, not a fan of the color. 
Now, I like these products individually. It's just the way it all came together, um, I actually do not like. You should use the letter filter and use a product or a brand that starts with that letter. That sounds like so much fun, let's do it. First, let's pick out a letter for primer, A. Okay, for, so for the primer, we're gonna use AF94 5-in-1 Mist. All right, now let's pick our foundation. We have E. That is actually perfect because we're gonna use my favorite Estee Lauder Double Wear. And this is the tinted moisturizer version. Now let's do concealer, we have F. Literally, the only thing I have is this Fenty Beauty, like, eye brightener. So we're just gonna have to go with that. Moving on to cream contour, we have C. Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. That was an easy choice. Now moving on to cream blush, we have N. My mind is like drawing blank. NARS. And this one is, of course, in the shade Orgasm. Now to set my face, we're gonna use L. That is actually perfect because we're going to be using Laura Mercier. I have not used this powder in ages. Do you know what? You already know this. I need another layer of blush. We're going to be using R. The only thing I can think of is this Rare Beauty Cream Blush. And let's hope it doesn't break down the makeup underneath. Okay, that is actually very, very pretty. And for highlighter, we have B. And we're going to use this one from Bobbi Brown. So far, I feel like this filter is definitely trying to sabotage me, but I'll see you part of the rest.
to of me doing a makeup look where the last letter of the product is the first letter of the brand. You'll see what I mean. We're moving on to highlighter. It ends with an R, so we're using a REM Beauty. Now for my brows, the only brow pencil or like a brow product I have is this Say Beauty. And it's actually not even a brow pencil, it's a brow tinted gel. We're gonna have to make just this work. Honestly, that's not bad at all. I lined them up with some concealers. They look uh, like quite natural, but I kind of like it. Now for the eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow ends with a W. What am I supposed to do with that? Do you know what? The only thing I could find is these like wet and wild bronzers. So I'm going to put that in the crease. It's obviously not technically an eyeshadow, but we're using it as one and it starts with a W. And for like my inner corner highlighter, I'm going to use this highlighter from wet and wild. You're going to be so disappointed right now, but unfortunately, I do not have a mascara that starts with an A. So I'm going to give myself a one-time pass. Moving on to lip liner, it ends with an R, so we're going to use this uh, Refi liner. And for the lipstick, since it ends with a K, we're going to use KKW. And lip gloss ends with an S, so we're going to use the Summer Fridays like, lip balm. I've actually never apply applied this over a lipstick. Wait, but why does it look actually stunning? Here is the final look, and I honestly love, love, love how this turned out. Day 7 of asking for doing this with silver products. This was actually quite hard to find, but I think we got a full face here. First, we're going to start with this IS Clinical Moisturizer, and we're going to follow this up with a Smashbox Water Finish. For the foundation, we're going to go in with this IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is actually such a good foundation. I used to use this literally every single day and oh my god, this color match is uh, <laughs> not matching. For the concealer, we're going to go in with this one from REM Beauty and it's quite a light shade, so we're going to fix this um, situation. Now, for some reason, no one makes cream silver products, so we're going to have to set my face with a Save Beauty translucent powder. Okay, wait, look at this powder. Hello. For my bronzer, the only thing I found is this all-nighter from Urban Decay. It's quite light, but we're just going to go with it. For blush, we're going to use these two from Buxom. This blush is so pretty. For the highlighter, we're going to go in with this one from Ram Beauty. And this one is in shade uh, Miss Mercury. And it is a beautiful one. Let me tell you that. We're about halfway done with this look, so I'll see you in part two for the rest. Welcome to part two of me doing a full face using only silver makeup packaging products. For my brows, we have the perfect product, uh, Processing My Brow Pencil by Benefit. For my eyeshadow, the only, like, eyeshadow palette that I found that was silver is this one from Rem Beauty, which is actually a really good one. Very basic, but really good. For my mascara, we're gonna use the Benefit Their Real um, Magnet Mascara. Okay, now for my uh, lip liner, we're gonna use this Refi one. It's gray, but, like, is gray silver. I forgot how stunning this is. And for the lipstick, we're going to go in with Ram Beauty in shade Roller Skates. Literally my all-time favorite pink nude. And to finish this look off, we're going to use this Half Magic Setting Spray. Here is the final look, and all I have to say is someone needs to create some more silver packaging cream products.